Hi guys, I have come up with a new video, the important questions of MPMC subject. So in previous video, we have discussed how to prepare for the exam, which unit you should prefer and which you should not prefer and what will be the paper pattern, how to score easily. So everyone know how to score, how to write, but some of, many of the students are confused with the what to, uh, read and what not to read and which questions to should prefer and which should not prefer so today i have come up with the unit wise important questions of mpmc subject so they will help you to score easily and clear your subject so from unit one i have got totally six questions which i have shortlisted so the most important is first one draw the internal in uh, architecture of 8086 microprocessor and explain the function of each block in detail so this is the most important question because previously they have asked this for five marks now it is for 15, 15 marks validity one short question they may ask two times repeated in, uh, in corona situation and before many times it is repeated you may expect this question for 15 marks so internal architecture of a086 microprocessor so before everyone will do the simple mistakes that uh, as this is architecture so you will write theory time so main point to keep in your mind is if they ask architecture block diagram is most important thing so well prepare with your block diagram and next some of the theory that's enough to get the marks so this is the important question next question list out different string manipulation instructions used in 8086 microprocessor and explain each one of in detail string manipulation this is also important so read this how many manipulations you have all those things next explain diff addressing modes list different addressing modes used in 8086 microprocessor addressing modes these are also important questions we may expect this question for 15 marks or in a b pattern for 8 marks if it is coming a b pattern it may sure it will come for 8 marks a or b okay 15 or 8 marks this is also most important question addressing modes of the 8086 microprocessor define micro explain it important in 8086 programming okay, this is also an important we may expect okay uh, different instruction types of 8086 this is also 8 marks or if it is in AB 7 marks definitely you will get this ok different instruction type so this is also an important question all these are important in this important most important these are the mark questions we may expect these questions because most repetitive questions all these are explain the all assembler directives all assembler directives of 8086 this is also for 15 marks previously in the supply exam recent supply exam they have asked this question for 15 marks and this architecture for 15 marks so and if they ask for a or b they may ask for 8 marks so this is most most important these are all most most important very sh damn sure with these all questions okay this important question so while writing all this if there are any block diagrams please make sure you are perfect with block diagrams and you read two questions perfectly but with block diagrams and diagrams circuit diagram whatever you have in these questions next from unit two this is from 
unit two. Difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. This is an important question for seven marks, not for fifteen marks. For seven marks. Difference between microprocessor and microcontroller. Okay. Next. Draw and explain internal architecture of eight zero five one microcontroller and explain its each part. This demand for fifteen marks or eight marks. This is also inter so internal architecture of eight zero five one microcontroller. This is the important question. Make sure that you read all these questions. For examination, this is the second question from second unit, and discuss about various addressing modes in eight zero five one. So you'll have two addressing modes: one is eight zero eight six, and next in eight zero five. This is also important question. So next, these are most repetitive questions during examination. Those are explain the concept of timer and counter. Of a zero five one microcontroller. So if you have suppose uh, third question a b, so b b it will be the this part. So eight marks definitely you will get from this. So this next explain t con t mode register in detail. Explain t con t mode register in detail. This is also most most important. Repeated one, T con register and T mode register. Yes. Define interrupt and uh, dif explain different software interrupt used in A zero five one microcontroller. This is also name. So define interrupt and explain different in software interrupts used in A zero five one microcontroller. Next. Draw and explain the following SFRs. So I, E, and I, P. This is also important. Next, explain the following SFRs of A zero five microcontroller. S con, T con, P con. This is also most important. S con, T con, P con. Okay. Explain the waveforms, different modes. Of counter and timer, counter timer waveforms you need to explain. So I have given nine questions. So nine questions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are most important question. Please be concentrate on these questions. After completing these questions, just go to which are unmarked. These are also important. Which are unmarked, but after mark, first refer to the marking questions. Okay. These are the first marking questions. Next, for the third unit, explain the interfacing of DAC to the A zero five. This is it. Explain the interfacing of DAC to A zero five one. Next, write a note on universal asynchronous receiver transmitter (UART). Only three questions we have that we are most important from the third unit. Explain the interfacing of ADC. Here we will have interfacing of DAC and ADC. Both are important. Next from unit five, as I say, unit five. We have only two questions. That is eighth question. That may be eight A, eight B, or Eight, totally fifteen or directly fifteen. So, this is most repeated question. First one. What is meant by OMAP? What are key feature of OMAP processor? And explain. Then second one is recently they have asked. Draw and explain functional block diagram of ARM Cortex MP. M3 processor. So, these are the two important questions from Unit Five. And from Unit Four, these are the previous question papers. Describe the pipeline operation of 
arm like this mostly uniform they'll ask in this pattern a b a b a b a b a b pattern they lost no 15 marks questions so describe the pipeline operation of arm which are different features of arm instruction set that make it suitable for embedded application draw and explain the program status resistor of arm processor draw and explain the program status register of arm processor this is of seven marks discuss the main characteristics of arm instruction set of eight marks discuss about load store instruction in arm processor mention about software interrupt instruction in arm processor next internal structure of arm processor these are the most most important question if you read this you can easily get 15 marks from unit 4 so now i will see which unit to prefer mostly and which not so as i have given important questions unit 2 you have only two questions if you read these two questions with block diagrams and some of the theory easily you can score 15 marks in your hands okay only two questions you can assure 15 marks so the more they okay so prefer unit 5 first firstly unit 5 only two questions next from unit 4 we have four questions except only from this he may give you the questions nothing from nothing else from another outside so read these questions uh, describe the pipeline operation of arm which are the different features of arm instruction set that make it suitable for embedded system draw and explain the program status register of arm processor discuss the main characteristics of arm instruction set describe about load store instructions in arm processor mention about software interrupt instruction in arm processor draw the internal structure these are so next unit 4 15 marks so 30 marks pass mark is 26 if they allot you 10 or 10 marks you will get 20 marks easily from these two marks if you write block diagram easily you will get most of the marks 7 to 8 marks for block diagram only half of the marks for block diagram so please be prepared with the block diagrams and the theory this is full of theory so you need to learn with theory okay next fourth unit fifth unit finished next from first and third unit second unit you prefer it from first second unit one two three four five six seven questions are repeated questions in previous year question papers so we may expect these questions after preparing this important question which i have marked from first unit and second unit then go to third unit third unit you have only three questions these are picture so if you are preparing any more four units i will assure you that you will clear your mpn subject exam or regular exam so if you like my video please subscribe it and follow me Thank you.